I'm here in Fishersville at the Old Red Barn gift shop. And one of the things you're gonna notice around me is lots of greenery. Now for some of us, we have to use artificial trees. Some of us may be able to use live trees. But what you can always do is bring a little bit of that outdoors indoors. And for example here, you know, I've got lotus pods, pine cones. Um, this is okra that has been left to grow too long. And right here, I just have a branch of pine needles. Now keep in mind, this is an economical way to decorate, um, very inexpensive. And in addition, it's something you can involve your whole family in. You can go outdoors and pick pine cones off the ground or off your trees, or pick beautiful dogwood branches and maybe spray paint them. But these are just a few things that you can do to naturalize or brighten up your indoors. When you're thinking of designing or decorating for the holidays, think about using a more unified theme. Uh, it tends to be a little more simple. And here we have the nature tree, which has, you know, pine needles, pine cones, artificial leaves and berries. It's even got an old fishing reel. But when you're thinking of just those, you know, more unified themes, you can use, you know, one theme in one room, one theme in another room. And the other thing you can do is you can take some of your outdoor plants and you can just spray them with gold or silver. But let's look at a couple other unified themes that you can use indoors. Use a variety of themes when you're thinking of decorating indoors. And you'll see, you know, the silver and white theme, and then silver and crystal theme. And then you can even have more of a red theme, which everything on this tree is tied in together with the ornaments and even the red and the ribbons. And one of my favorites is the mauve and lavender and purple theme. And really those are the colors that come out. Now you'll see it is intermixed with other things, but again, you're getting that single theme or impression when you're viewing it. Earlier we talked about bringing some of those things from your garden indoors. Here are some of them. You can take your evergreens and pick them. Think of this also as a family affair. You could even involve your kids in going out and picking pine cones and you, know, you might even pick something like holly. And then what you want to do with some of this is possibly spray paint them that has been done. Always read the label and wear the right protective gear, but you can just come in and spray, for example, maybe this leaf right here. And as you can see, it shows up, let it dry. Sometimes you'll do this outdoors. And what you can do with things that you want to stick in centerpieces or reach, you can wire on a wooden pick, for example, on this magnolia leaf, and then you can use this in your arrangements. The other thing you're going to notice is there's you know, lots of different things you can pick from the garden. And for example, this is a pine cone, and the pine cone has been sprayed with either a varnish or a polyurethane. But you'll see it can be stuck in styrofoam, or on the other hand, you might have a box that you can use and you can stick these natural pods and then spray paint them uh, so you don't ruin furniture or carpet or flooring. Now you can have the beautiful silver painted Nandina and combine that with the natural red berries of the Nandina and you can use a little bit of your outdoors and bring it indoors. I'm Mark Viette, join me next time in the garden. For more garden tips, go to the In the Garden website, inthegardenradio.com.